Draeger. A witch. Dreadful word for a horrible creature. In Italy, where just over a hundred years ago the events you are about to see took place, witchcraft is called even today the old religion. The pious peasants who feared it fought it. And sometimes they employed measures which were, well, quite extreme. But witches too can fight back. And when they do, my friends, beware. For the witch can wreak a fearful vengeance on those who dare to stand in her way. She's outcast, unwanted, feared. And the image of her that has come down to us through the ages is a frightening one indeed. The title of our story is La Strega, and our players are Ursula Andress, Alejandro Ray, Jeanette Nolan, Raymond Navarro, Frank Dacova, and Ernest Saraceno. See her now as she prepares to cast a spell of death. She's old, lame, evil-eyed, and cruel. And her familiar, animal chosen to bridge the gap between herself and the devil, is ready to help her perform the devil's work. As sure as my name is Boris Karloff, someone is about to die. in an afternoon like this. I know, I know. I have to do it for five. <laughs> no, Senor Tonio, leave her. Leave her, don't go. Leave her there. Leave her. She's drowning. No. I'm just me, Tonio de la Vega, painter. <laughs> I hope. Those men. Those men, they tried to drown me. They threw me into the water. What? They did. They threw me into the river. They wanted to kill me. No, no. It's all right. There's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, I have to get away. I must. I must get away from me here. It's not safe for me. Oh, no. I can't let you go like that. I don't even know your name. You want to know my name? <sighs> of course I do. It's Luana. You've heard of me. No. Should I? And you live near here? Well, actually, I came from Spain. But I'm studying painting here, in the village. 
over the other side of the hill. <laughs> Only I haven't sold a painting in three months. Nobody's got any money. I know. You're going to catch a cold. You better find something dry to change into. I don't have any other clothes. Well, I know. Not here. But where do you live? I don't live anywhere. You see, I run away from home. But your parents must be worried about you. They're dead. I've been living with my grandmother. Oh, I see. Do you believe in witches? Witches? <laughs> no, of course not. But they say my grandmother's a witch. They call her La Strega. One day she said she put a curse on me, so I ran away. Now nobody will help me. Because of her, they think I'm a witch too. But I'm not. Of course you're not. I found an old shack in the woods upstream, and I slept there. When I went to the river this morning, those men tried to kill me. Oh, they were sorry. Oh, no. You're safe here. There's no one. No one to help me. I have no friend. Oh, oh, oh. That just isn't true. I am your friend. Oh, are you? Really? Mm -hmm. Then I can go with you to the studio. Oh, well. So you're afraid of me, too. And you say that you don't believe in witches. Of course I don't. All right. But we better try to dry out in the sun while it's still warm. Shock you. You see? Oh, it only needs cleaning up. It won't take me long. Oh, I'm gonna light it. Did you do this? Which one is it? I did them all. You're very good, who is she? A girl who poses for me, and it's very bad. You better change into this before you catch a cold. Yes, Tony. Go on. It will keep you warm. Then we have to decide what to do with you. Let's see. I've got an idea. Maestro Giuliano can help us. Who is he? Oh, he's my best friend. He's teaching me to paint. Is it hard painting? Sometimes. <sighs> but it's so exciting. I always wish I knew how to do it. It must be wonderful to make your own world for yourself, even if it isn't truly real. Sometimes the world you make it's more real than the one you live in. Tonio, it's a little big for me, isn't it? It's so soft. <sighs> Drink this. Why don't you sit by the fire? He's done. <laughs> All right. 
right? Go on. Sit down. I took it up a bit. about those men who tried to kill you. It wasn't really true, was it? But of course it was. Didn't you believe me? Witches. <laughs> what really happened? Did you fall in? You've got to believe me. Those men really tried to kill me. They think I'm a witch. All right, all right. I tell you what we can do. You stay here tonight. Tomorrow we'll talk to Maestro Giuliano and see if he can find a place for you. He knows everybody in this part. Luana, don't move! She's not here. I don't know where she is. I need Luana. I 
I need somebody to help me. I'll carry water, fetch firewood. I'm old. I'm too old. Where is Luana? I told you. I don't know where she is now. Where is Luana? Listen, she's not a child. If she doesn't want to stay with you, she doesn't have to. For the last time, where is she? I don't know. Then listen to my word and remember them well. When the moon is down and the night is dark, the blood in your veins will boil and burn. Your hands will do the work of the devil. Those you love will be taken away. The curse will lie on you day and night. A madman kept in a darkened cell for the rest of your life. A madman kept in a darkened cell. <laughs> Only a grave for the ones you love. In the grave. Only a grave for the ones you love. What are the ones you love? <laughs> <laughs> Fighting a living thing. I was dreadful. It's all right, Tonio. But your skin is so hot. Are you sick? No, I'm all right. I was just worried about you. Perhaps I've been working too hard. Fighting is exhausting. You are striving for a kind of perfection. Trying harder and harder. And sometimes you keep trying and trying. Oh, thank you, my stress. There's someone to look after you now, Tony. Someone to take care of you. It's an old ballad from the hills. She 
cursed me. The old woman, she cursed me. Gone. What fever? Oh, you were tossing and turning. What? What is that? I put it there. It helps to break the spell. The spell? It was a curse she put on you. But don't worry. I know about those things. Luana, you must. That's why I painted the cross above you. We must be very careful now. You must tell me what she said to you. Maybe I can find a way to keep her evil from us. Luana, come back out of the past. These things don't happen anymore. It cured you, didn't it? You must rest and sleep now. You know, I kept thinking I heard your grandmother saying, Blood in your veins will... Will what? Well, nothing. Just a strange idea I had. You know, this is going to be very good. Beauty. Sometimes you don't see it right away. It can be... quietness in the eyes. Gentleness in the spirit. Sometimes it can only be seen by the artist himself. And then, it is a kind of love.
Antonio. Good morning, maestro. Ah, it's such a beautiful day, I thought we could... Excuse me. Luana? This is Luana, my teacher, Maestro Giuliano. How do you do? Maestro. She's lovely, Tonio. I hope you're painting her. Beautiful, really beautiful. But haven't I seen you before? You don't live in the village, do you? I used to live in the valley. But now, I live here. Oh. Well, that is something we have to talk about, Maestro. I wonder if you can find a place for her to live. She doesn't have any money. You know how it is. <laughs> oh, of course I do. But uh, haven't you any relatives? Only my grandmother. Well? They call her La Strega. You know of her, don't you? Yes, I do. She was here last night. She wanted to take Luana back with her. After she'd gone, I was doing a sketch of Luan. And suddenly, it became La Strega. I don't know how. And a very strange thing happened. What, Tonio? The door of the stove burst open. And a flame came out. My grandmother put a curse on him. You are only a stranger in these parts. But we were born here. They seem quite real to us because we believe in them. So if you can, hold on to your disbelief. Superstition. That's all it is. Call it what you will. But what about that fire? A fire can happen anywhere. And yet, there was one thing. In the flames, a cat appeared. Cat? A black one. It's out there in the hills by the edge of the woods. I saw it as I came here. Luana, you know what this means. It is what I think it is, isn't it? No, oh, please don't ask me, maestro. It's a Sabbath. Isn't that right, Luana? Tonio, when they hold a Sabbath, a black mass, the cat is there to keep strangers away. It means that tonight in the woods they are going to hold their Sabbath. Yeah, they are holding a, a Sabbath. We'll go there and see for ourselves. Oh, Tonio, you must be mad. You don't know their power. I don't believe we'll see anything at all. Very well. I'll go with you only to show you what there is to fear. Luana?
dead. My best friend is dead. I'll go back to her. I'll go back to her. If not, the next time it will be you. You have to tell me where she lives. I'm going to beg her to release us. On my knees, if I must. She won't. There has to be another way. We have to leave him here. I tell the police. But first, I want you to come with me to Father Lupari. sound. It's the Feast of Santa Maria tomorrow. Well, what brings you here? This is Luana, a friend of mine. I'm very happy to meet you, my child. Come, sit down. Sit down. It's so nice to have visitors. Some cheese and food, perhaps. No, thank you, Padre. But I have a favor to ask you. Oh? Do you know the woman they call Estrega? Yes. Yes, I know her. A poor woman with no friends. They are afraid of her in these parts. It's an unhappy name they've given her. The witch. How can a woman stay in a church when they give her a name like that? Luana is her granddaughter. Her granddaughter? But I didn't know she had one. You are welcome, my child. As your grandmother would be if she would only come to me. I could help her put a stop to these dreadful lies they tell about her. Padre, I would like Luana to stay here for the rest of the night. Anywhere, as long as she is safe. Safe? Safe from what? There are evil spirits abroad tonight, Padre. And they frighten me. Evil spirits? That's no way to talk, my child. The evil is in our minds. Nowhere else. Well, you can stay here as long as you like. Both of you, if you wish. Oh, no. There is something I must do. But if Luana can stay here... Tonio! My son, are you sure there is nothing you want to tell me? Nothing, Padre. Perhaps in the morning. I will not press you. Only of your own free will. Thank you. Stay here, Luana. Whatever you do, don't leave till I come back. Will you promise me that? I promise. Only I wish you wouldn't go and see her. Just stay here till I come back. Be careful, don't you, please? Don't worry. Good night, Padre. Good night, my son. It's no use. 
You came for nothing. I come to ask you. I know why you come. <laughs> it will do you no good. But why? I beg of you. That cares. Take it away from us. <laughs> so, you come to believe in us. Didn't he tell you, your friend? Hang on to your disbelief. But now you believe in us. You're just like the rest of them. Please. Can't you see I am on my knees? I beg of you. The curse. Take it away from us. It's driving me out of my mind. I knew you would pray to us sooner or later. My granddaughter. She must come back. Oh, please. I want to marry her. Please, I beg of you. Marry. Never. She's mine. She must stay with me to do as I tell her. And you, a curse will lie on you day and night. Those you love will be taken away. A madman kept in a darkened cell, a darkened cell for the rest of your life. A grave in the shade of a roosting bird where the feathers fly when the soil is turned. And all of that is the curse. No! <laughs> I won't hear you! <laughs> Keep quiet! <laughs> <laughs> down, as you say, towards uh, these, uh, these witches. You left this girl, Luana, alone with your friend. And when you came back, he was dead. Is that true? Yes. Well, we shall see. Uh, where is she now? I left her last night at the church with Father Lupari. Well, she is in good company. Why? She was frightened. And I knew she'd be safe there. Safe from this uh, mysterious murderer, perhaps? Safe from whatever evil was pursuing her. On a broomstick. I think we had better ask her some questions. Meanwhile, my superstitious friend, suppose you come along with us to the vestry, huh? Tonio, I was just going to look for you. Bonjour, no Padre. Bonjour. What is wrong, Lieutenant? Oh, nothing, Father, that you can help us with. But I would like to see the young woman that Senor de la Vega brought here last night. The granddaughter of this so-called witch. But uh, she's not here. Not here? Isn't she with you? But I told her to stay, not to leave. You heard me! Yes, I know, but this morning... Then she has left. Yes. I went out early this morning. I suppose she was asleep in the other room. When I returned a few minutes ago, she was gone. So I was on my way to tell you, Tonio, when I realized how important it seemed to you. Well, I... I assumed that she had gone to your studio, perhaps. Well, senor, do you have any idea where she might be? Yes. I think she said... she might go back to her grandmother. She's gone back to her. Now, Tonio, 
She couldn't have, I know. On my return here, I ran into her grandmother. She was looking for Luana. Her grandmother? Yes, Tonio, I spoke with her. You can't have seen her. Yes. You can't, it's a lie. No, Tonio. It's a lie. Tonio, I have to look for her. Tonio, bring it up. Tonio. Tonio, listen to me. Thank you. 